Dear friends and hate watchers of this channel, hello. In case you still haven't watched the new Malayalam film, The Great Indian Kitchen, you've definitely heard about it by now. अगर अभी भी थोड़ी सी convincing चाहिए, why you should spend 140 rupees to catch this film on Nistream? Behold, a conversation with the director, Jio Baby. <gasps> Exclusive. What? Subscribe किया चैनल को. Uh, thank you so much for making time for this, Mr. Baby. Is that what I call you? Should I call you Geo? Should I call you Baby? Should I call you Geo Baby, Mr. Baby, Mr. Geo? What would you prefer? <laughs> Anything. It's your choice. Okay, I'm going to call you Geo. Yes. Yeah. Are you as blown away by the reception to the Great Indian Kitchen as uh, people are blown away after having watched your film? Actually, we never expect this kind of reaction from the audience. Right? We we think that the film will be discussed. A lot of discussion will be happen here. Uh, that we know that, but this much of grand reception we never expected. In the number Kudumbatta Patiyanu Parayinu, family is a universal group. Family based on marriage. So now I firstly apologize if I am repeating some questions that you've already answered in interviews before because uh, I was trying to catch some interviews of yours, but there is a bit of a language barrier on my end, and I don't didn't understand a lot of the answers that you gave. So um, my apologies. But I do want to know more yeah. about the legend of Nistream. How did your yeah. film find a home on Nistream? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And after the after the first coffee will be ready, and we we offer we offer um, Netflix and Amazon. Amazon says that we have to watch your movie. Then we send a screen or link to them, and after that they say that the movie is up for the criteria. Movie is up for. Uh, the platform, uh, and we ask that why? why? What is your criteria? And there is no reply from their side. After that, we approach uh, Netflix. They didn't watch our movie, and they say that we can't accept this feeling. I don't know what is the reason. They are not saying the reason behind this. They are rejecting. Yeah, we have the only option. That is Netflix. Talk to me a little bit about the community that has come together to make this film happen for you, like your producers and stuff. This interview has been organized by your cinematographer, so it's a it's yeah. a group of dedicated people who are really invested in in telling this story. I actually, we we take a decision that uh, in, in decision in 2017 we have to make this film. The main decision is we have to uh, find the funds for this film. We never approach a producer. Never approach production company because uh, they never understand this film. Mm. They never accept this film. First, we made a um, main decision that uh, we never uh, uh, think about the audience. We never think about the theater response. We only think about this movie. Actually, this is a personal movie for me and my DOP and my, and my editor. Uh, we, we discuss a lot. Uh, how can we Make it a little bit different. That's the reason behind the great invention. Kolala. In my review of your film, I tried to deduce who you are talking to via this film, and one of my deductions was that you are talking to people who still don't see a household kitchen as a symbol of patriarchy. Every unwashed teacup, its upholder. Who are you talking to via the Great Indian Kitchen? Who is your audience? I'm talking to the all people all over the India. This is a not a story of Kerala kitchen. This is a story of Indian kitchen, and this is not only the story of kitchen. This is woman's life. Our mm -hmm. woman is living like this. If she have a job or she have a earning, and there is no difference in the life inside the house, mm -hmm. the same thing happens. If she have job, after all, after the job, she have to do all these duties in the kitchen, in the house. This is a system, man. that is a system. Uh, see, the society have to change, and a lot of good decisions need from government. When I um, entered into the kitchen, and I take a decision that I have to share uh, kitchen jobs, only because of that, this film happened. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm not thinking about the great Indian kitchen. Chapati la bust. What sets your movie apart from 
a lot of other films that we've seen kind of similarly themed is the little nuances that you've picked up on and presented in a manner that that's very known to women like a father in law cannot find his own toothbrush men leaving the house can't find their own slippers women know de- these things but men just don't see this happening around them they turn a blind eye they look the other way it's not a thing that anybody notices when did you begin to notice these small small things happening around you and start to incorporate that into your writing after i entered into the kitchen that i am realized that what a horrible life of woman and i i discussed with my wife and she told me a lot of story i am think i am start thinking from the woman side from the woman view Uh, these kind of fathers this kind of husbands uh, everywhere mm. in my family too a cup of a tea a clean uh, bedroom clean bathroom all these only for men thinking about this i am discussing with a lot of my friends my women friends they are told me a lot of stories actually the great indian kitchen is a lighter version of a woman story yeah ah uh, this is a lighter version correct it's not the real it's not uh, it's not as horrific as it could have uh, gotten because at the end of the film it still ends on a on a positive hopeful note where yeah. your protagonist gets away but majority yeah. of women don't really get to escape yeah yeah that that is the one of the important question that she can she can get out from that house but lot of uh, women uh, they can there is no way to go there is no option for getting out from the this kind of struggling life nimisha is a privileged lady uh, she has a lot of other options she has a lot of friends uh, at least she has some money what will happen in others life other yeah. women amma endha jaan parannu manasilakatha ayyo did you like how long did it take you to write these things down and how long did it take you to put all of these stories together because i understand that it is an amalgam of various stories that you uh, spoke to your wife and your friends and your female colleagues and you put this together and that's why your protagonists don't have names they are just general indian people man and woman all because of my experience and i i had lot of stories from my friends hmm. my woman friends and uh, lot of horrible things in their life a uh, lot of my friends can't get out from that a lot of reason is there and uh, they are fearing the society every time this kind of issues uh, rises from anywhere uh, i'm thinking from the woman side yeah. and my perspective is changed uh, after after entered into the kitchen after the discussion when was that when did you enter into the kitchen uh, the first time i in 2017 so 2017, it's not, not very long uh, ago yeah yeah it recently happened I discussed with my sister how to make a movie about kitchen. I think recently I discussed with my sister. She has encouraged me a lot. She has told me a lot of things. This kind of father, the, the shoe matter, brush paste ma- matter. <laughs> that is that is real characters. We know them. Eating the sambar and just leaving the yeah yeah. Chudu se lele. Ipad pamma. Emne bere pati chada. ഇന്റർചേഞ്ച്ഡിംഗ് what does being an ally mean to you geo because this film is a is an ally it's an ally to the feminist movement it's an ally to women who've been trying to raise your raise their voices like about many things sabrimala and or everything that your film has touched upon what does it mean to you to be a feminist ally yeah it, it only happened uh, because of uh, experience was shared by my friend that housemaid she get paid from this job and you know uh, we used some hand shot in in the beginning uh, in the time of uh, wedding ceremony the men can making making some food and he will he get paid right uh, why nimisha don and why that andy don feminism is a i think this is humanism i don't know this is feminism or why why one gender is facing all these difficulties from society from home why women like treat her like this 
Yeah. That is my issue. That's my question. Correct. And that's really what feminism is. Women asking these questions saying, why are we treated yeah. like this? And we refuse to be treated like this. So feminism yeah. is equality. ിറ്റിയ a uh, loving appreciation of the food that this family eats and the food that your character is cooking and then everybody is enjoying <laughs> actually our food culture is very different than uh, other countries if we have to make a breakfast the job started from the uh, from the night after that in the morning we have to make idli or dosa <laughs> then chutney sambar uh, <laughs> yeah and, and all the credits to for the food related credits all the so it goes to our art department art direction to production designers hmm. their main job is making food we dis- we portray that how it will happen how what are the cooking process we go through that we never glamorize food item that we can show in this, in so many films lastly a little bit about the promotional campaign of the film all the posters that came out they were all happy posters and they were like misleading because when you go into the film and you watch it you realize that this is not what the film is about so talk to me about the promotional campaign what was the strategy behind that behind designing those posters and everything no, actually we have not a that kind of very big promotion fund we yeah. never expect this kind of reception from the gate and they are the promoters they are planning the they, they are make the marketing plan i mean the woman they made it <laughs> not us actually we have no big plan for this film so you're saying your viewers yes. became your promotional agent yeah yeah okay. promoter ah yeah yeah yes especially the women lot of first time um, review writers yeah born yeah because of tga women writers because yeah. you're you're encouraging conversation and that's really the yeah. ultimate purpose of any art form to encourage discourse yes. well mr yeah. baby thank you for your time today and thank you for yeah. talking to me about thank your film and i'm really Thank excited to see too. what you're doing next yeah <laughs> like i say at the end of all my videos i've got so much more coming up lined up i'm working really hard all you got to do is like this video share it to your friends and subscribe to my channel for free